My name is Patricia Hayes and I'm the new Saatchi Chair in Visual History and Theory based at the Centre for Humanities Research. Now, everybody recognises that we're in an age of fast developing new technologies and in many senses these technologies and their public interface are highly visual. The Saatchi Chair in Visual History and Theory is dedicated to promoting the so-called visual turn in those disciplines in the humanities and social sciences that are normally text-based, but which must now contend with these new technologies, especially the digital. It's not enough to simply instrumentalize the new digital technologies. The important task is to equip students and academics with the critical skills so that their cultural and political import can be grasped. This is about making, but also breaking down meanings. South Africa, for example, has a very rich history of photographic production through which publics were made and memories made to stick, which had a transformative power and helped to end apartheid. We need to sustain these rich public critical resources into the digital age of the post-apartheid so that both young and old can mobilize meanings and effect positive change. If we talk about visual culture, the burning question is how UWC can participate when the playing field across higher education institutions is so uneven, when historically UWC had no department of fine art, art history or art of design, and the fields of formal art education was inaccessible to most South Africans. This is where the rapid technological changes assist us by making the means of visual and digital reproduction accessible, so that through the new interdisciplinary platforms, we can effect the training necessary to harness the intuitive skills many already have. The Chair in Visual History and Theory is dedicated to long-standing commitment in both theory and practice of photographic production to history and other students in the arts faculty. And it's planned to extend this further into exhibitions, critical museum development, curatorial and archival projects. Greater visual literacy is already empowering students and researchers in an environment that was never envisaged as a space for art and aesthetic training. And when this is linked to strong critical and theoretical training, we go far beyond the instrumental to what some have called the unashamedly intellectual. The chair plans to expand in these directions, enabling a new series of initiatives and connections to unfold.